How do we load and save the state of a GUI? The method that I'm going to use today is one where we go and get all of the values of the widgets, checkboxes, and so on of interest, and then save that into a structure that's saved in a map file. And then later, when loading it, load up that map file and apply those values to the widgets again. Let's see how this is done. I've started with a simple guide GUI that has two checkboxes named handles checkbox one and handles checkbox two and I've set the buttons that I'm going to use for testing. Okay, let's look at the actual M code behind this. Push button one is the save so I'm going to put in here save state and I need to know the handles because that's the structure where all of the data about the handles inside the GUI are stored. And I'm just going to make a call to a function that I'll write later. I don't want to put the actual code in here because I might want to save the state at many different times. So all of these push buttons will be referring to the same callback of save state. Now push button 2 is going to be restore state and that is also going to need the handles. Now we know what those buttons are going to do. We actually have to write the code for saving and restoring the state. So I'm going to make a new function here. Function save state and it's going to expect an input of handles. Let me make sure I spell that right. And in here, what is save state going to do? Well, I'm going to say state dot check box one is equal to get handles dot check box one value like that. So that gets me the state of that check box. And let's get number two here like that and mlint is warning me about not putting a semicolon there. Once I've gotten the state for everything in here then I would say save and I'm going to save that as main.mat and I want to save the variable state. Okay we've got this let's run to see how this works so far. Here's my checkbox. I'm going to hit save. If we look at the workspace browser, we can double click on main.mat and take a look in our workspace now. We can see there is state. And we have the state of checkbox 1 and checkbox 2. So the save part is working. Let's go back to the M file and we're going to write the next function restore state and it also needs the handles and we're going to say load main dot mat and we want to pull out of there specifically the variable state then we're going to do something similar here instead of getting all of those I'm going to set the value and let me paste that back in there like that. Cut that, set the value to checkbox 2 like that. And we should be done. Let's run this save and now if I check the checkbox when I load it's going back to the way it was perfect so something useful to do would be go to the callbacks for the figure itself and close request function whenever this window closes I want to save the state as it currently is and one more thing, if we come up to the top here, in the main opening function, 
I want to restore state handles upon opening. So let's save and run this now. And it started up with checkbox like that. Now let's close bo check both of them, quit, run again, and it starts up in that same state. This is just one way of doing this, but it's the method that I personally prefer. You do have to make sure that as you add widgets, that you add them to the set and get. Thank you.